In this movie, we're going to show how a 3D mesh object can be imported into and route, positioned, added to a relief, and then toolpath for output to a machine. We're going to start off here by importing our file type is set to STL. We're going to import this part. The first thing I notice here, and I can hit Control-1 if I want to move that to the lower left-hand corner of the plate, is that it's kind of on its side. And uh, I would have to decide if I want to move this, um, which direction I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to hit the F2 for the precision input center. We're going to rotate along the X axis and we're going to rotate minus 90 degrees. That's just going to orient this properly so that the top is looking down on the surface we want to cut. Now we have to move this again. Uh, I'm going to move this back to zero, zero. Next thing is to make sure it's in a proper Z position. So I'm going to come here and select this again, go to F2. This time I'm going to go to the move command instead of rotate. And I'm going to put the bottom of this handle at zero. And I have the, the front view highlighted. And now it's at the proper location. I could uh, decide how much of this I want to add to a relief based upon where it is in the Z axis. Uh, the, the, the parts I don't want to show up in the relief, I would move below zero, but I want to have the whole part show up, so I'm going to select it there. Uh, now I'm going to just create a 2D shape that is outside of my 3D part. I'm going to go to the surface menu and say create relief. We're going to do a flat, no thickness relief, resolution of 100. Now I'm going to select them both and say apply mesh to relief. I'm going to do faceted, add, apply. I've now taken this 3D shape surface and we have incorporated it into a 3D relief. I'm going to turn off all layers now and we can see this from the top view. And we can see it from the side view. So I now have this part that I can position and cut. If I want to get a slice from here, I'm going to say extract slice. It tells me to select the relief I want to slice. I'm going to select right here. What that's going to do is create an outline of this part based upon the, the 3D surface. The, per, the first pixel up from zero will become the outline shape. And so now I have my part. Um, my thickness here is 1.5151. My material thickness is 1.52. So I'm now gonna move this into the material. We're gonna go to surface, align reliefs, move to bottom of plate. All right, so now we have our, our object and we have it positioned in the X, Y, and Z and we've created a surface from the mesh. Now we're gonna go to a hatch fill toolpath. Now I have saved already a ball nose with a rough tool and a, a detailed cut. I now need to adjust it to my current job parameters. So I'm going to say 1.52 for the depth and for the rough, I don't, I don't need to get quite down that deep. I'm going to tell it to apply an overcut, which is going to allow it to go to the very boundary of this edge and even exceed it when it's doing the toolpath. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that as well. And uh, we can see here that our fill for the overlap of the rough tool is 50%. And for our overlap for the more detailed tools is 90%. All right, so I'm going to hit apply here. All right, now we've applied the toolpath. Let's go ahead and draw another little rectangle around our shape. And we're going to use this to simulate this part. But by drawing this little rectangle, we can tell it use selected contour as a mask. All right, so now we're just gonna render this one little area down here. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to uh, do the rough tool. And you can see here the, the rough tool and, and the work that it's doing. Now it's gonna do the more detailed pass. And you can mask where the toolpath applies if we want to not have the toolpath uh, cut in a flat area because it's the same thickness as the relief, then we could use 2D contours to mask where the toolpath applies and we would not necessarily need to cut these areas that are the same thickness as the material. But if there's a surface there, if we want a nice smooth uh, surface, then we would go ahead and, and toolpath this area. 
And now it'll just be a matter of outputting this to the machine. Uh, of course, we would probably want a cutout toolpath on here as well. So I'm going to select this 2D shape, go to routing offset. Here I have a cutout with an onion skin. We're going to cut this all the way through. And uh, we'll have an onion skin of 0.04 there. So here's our, our passes. And it's got this information already there. So now I've added a cutout toolpath as well. If you started off with the 2D shapes, you can do that. That would just be a matter of outputting this to your specific machine and, and running the file.